Greetings everyone. I'm Lori Nussbaum, the Pre-K-6 principal at Galen Catholic School. I want to welcome you and the classes of 2034 and 2035. Before we begin, I would like to start with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, giver of all gifts, we praise and thank you for your generosity. We thank you for parents, the first educators of children, and for all those who join together to provide a Catholic education. As we prepare for the next school year, please guide us in our decision making so that we may provide the partnership with parents that will allow each child to develop their skills and talents. We ask you this through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We're sorry we aren't able to meet with you in person, but Amy Jungers, our development director, and the teachers are here tonight to talk to you about the TK and Kindergarten program. Let's begin by meeting the staff. And we're gonna start with TK teacher, Mrs. Katie Christoffel. TK teacher here at Galen Catholic. I've been at Galen Catholic going on four years. Um, prior to being at Galen, I have taught for over 15 years and I taught sixth grade, third grade, and kindergarten. A lot of parents often ask, what's the difference between TK and kindergarten? So I'd like to share a couple of those differences with you. In TK, we have the opportunity to take things at a slower pace compared to kindergarten. We are also able to offer more playtime and center time, which allows us to do one-on-one -on -one skill building with the students. In TK, we focus a lot on social and emotional needs and also building up those relationships um, with the students and their peers, just to make sure they have a solid foundation so they're ready to move on into kindergarten and other grades. As you can see here, this is kind of our typical day in TK. Um, we do a lot of routine, so every day the children know when they come in what is going to be happening. So we start with our prayer over the intercom and our opening. And in our opening, we sit as a whole group on this carpet in a big circle. And we focus a lot on um, greeting each other by names and getting to know each other. Literacy, um, during our literacy block, we focus on our letters and knowing our sounds. Right now, um, we are working on putting letters together to make words. This is also the time that we work on our VOAC cards, which are our phonics cards, and we do a lot of writing during our literacy block. In TK, you'll see um, they have two snacks. They have a snack offered in the morning and a snack offered in the afternoon, which is provided by Galen Catholic. We do also have three recesses. We have a recess in the morning, we have a recess after lunch, and then we have a recess in the afternoon. Um, typically when we come in from recess, we either pick science, math, or social studies to focus on. In math, we do a lot with numbers, um, counting. We're now in a measuring unit, um, just to make sure that they have that number sense down to get them ready for kindergarten. In science, we've had the opportunity um, to be awarded many grants, which you'll see as we continue to tour through the room. So we do a lot of hands-on with our science. And then in social studies, we focus a lot on our community members and those who help us um, complete jobs in our community. Our center activity is just a free play time for the students. If we have any students who need any extra support, that's a time that we offer that. Uh, lunch and recess. Religion, we talk a lot about in TK how God created all of us and what we can do to show appreciation for that and to take care of God's um, environment and world. We do have a rest time in TK. It varies on the students' needs on how long we rest. We are um, able to participate in three different specials. We have music, 
library, and PE. And then our fourth special every other week is guidance, where Mrs. Brady comes in and works on social and emotional skills with the kids also. And then to end our day, we usually end with snack and then we do a dismissal with some type of closure um, for the students before they go home. In TK, because the students are young, um, coming in as a five-year-old, families and separation from, from their families can be very difficult. So we offer pictures um, for our families just so the students have a chance to look at them. If they're having a hard day, they can see mom and dad, brother and sister, and to know that we are all a family. As mentioned earlier in our schedule for our science block, um, TK has applied for many different grants, and one of the grants um, we received a few years, years ago was Ramps and Pathways. So this is an area that is always open for the students during center time, and there's a variety of different size blocks that they can use to build with, and then there's also ramps that they can use. We use trucks, we use marbles, all kinds of different things to work on slope um, and just racing different things down ramps. As you can see on this wall, the students have their artwork displayed um, and all of their pictures are different, which I encourage just for that creativity um, using their own imagination. So this is just a quick um, snapshot. We did three little pigs and the big bad wolf. We made three dimensional houses one day and then the second day we made flat houses. So you can see we have cotton balls, we have um, shredded paper, we have cut up paper, popsicle sticks, cotton balls, um, lots of variety here. As a TK student, we have lots of exciting things um, happening not only in our classroom, but outside of our classroom. Some of the things that happen in our classroom that are extra activities. Um, we have moms and muffins, we do dads and donuts, we also offer a Christmas program. Um, we do a Mardi Gras celebration and then other holiday celebrations. Guest speakers that we have come in, we have the firefighters come in, um, police officers. We have a dentist come in, um, talk about dental um, cleaning. We have a lady who comes in to talk about cleaning hands. Lisa from the Lamar's Public Library comes in and does a story time with us. And then Victoria from Hillview in um, Hinton comes in and does some activities in the classroom and if weather allows outside. For field trips in TK, um, we go to the pumpkin patch, we go to Hillview Park in the fall and in the spring, and then we go out to AgriVision Equipment um, also. One of my favorite things about working here at Galen Catholic is the ability to share my faith in the classroom, in the hallways, and all around throughout the entire school day. It's really neat to see the whole student body stop in the hallway and pray when it comes over the intercom and everything we can relate back to faith. Thank you for joining us today. I am super excited to see you next fall here at Galen Catholic in TK. My name is Kelly Bolin and I teach kindergarten at Galen Catholic. This is my 15th year at Galen. I taught one year in first grade and the rest of the 14 in kindergarten. I would like to tell you a little bit about our day in kindergarten. Um, we start with arrival. We come right away at eight o'clock in the morning and the kids can come right into the room. Um, they usually have an activity on their desk that they're going to be doing. And then we wait till 8.20 and we have prayer over the intercom for the whole school as well as the Pledge of Allegiance. We move on to our literacy, literacy time, which is reading, and we are learning about the letters and sounds. We are almost all the way through the alphabet, and right now we're starting to learn about blending the sounds together, making them into words, and just this week we've been put, forming them into sentences and writing them as well. We do whole group literacy as well as small group, where they meet in small groups with me daily. After that, we have outside recess where we get to go outside and play in the snow. Um, they have a really good time right now in the snow. They can play on the big structure and we also have some sledding time as well when it gets fun and we have things to do out there. 
Then we come back and we have calendar time where we talk about the days of the week, the calendar, what's going on for our day um, each day in kindergarten. We have read aloud or we, we listen to stories. Then we go to lunch down in the lunchroom. We eat down there. We go to another outside recess. We come back and have story time. And then we have a special every single day where we rotate between music, PE, computer and guidance every other week and a library every week where they get to exchange a book. We come back from our special and then we have rest time in their room for about 25 minutes where they get to um, kind of relax and get ready for the rest of the day. Then we have our religion time. We have our thematic study. And when we don't do thematic study, we also do science where we do a hands-on kit. Um, this spring, we're going to be starting one um, based on wood and paper. So we'll be learning more about that. Um, we have snack and restroom break in there. Then we have some math time. At the end of the day, we have free choice where they get to play in the room with each other and have fun there. Then we pack up and we go home. So it's a really fun day in kindergarten. There's a lot to do and we all have a great time. I love working and teaching at Galen Catholic because I love the environment that is here. I love having my kids, my own kids here every day. I love having my school kids here every day. I feel like we are so close in our classroom and in our school. And when they enter these four walls that I care about them and that they care about me and that we're all in this together to learn and to have fun. Thank you so much for sharing this opportunity to enter my classroom and get a visit at Galen Catholic School. We really feel like this is the best school around and are really excited for your student to come join us in our school. We welcome you anytime and are very excited to see you. I teach kindergarten here at Galen and I've been in our system for 40 years. I'm so excited for your child to come to kindergarten next year. I'd like to talk about some of the things that we do in our curriculum. One of the most important things we work on is learning to read and we start with a literacy program called Treasures. We use some leveled readers, we do activities on our iPads and one of the things we learn is to do some literacy centers so that the children have some time working independently on some of the skills that we're working on. We focus on letter recognition, consonant sounds, short vowel sounds, sight words, and decoding, which is sounding out three letter words. We do this through whole group instruction and through these literacy centers, which include time with the teacher every day in a small group. The children enjoy some of the activities we do on our smart board. We can use it for literacy when we use it to build words with our consonants and our vowels, and they can slide the letters and make the new words. Our Saxon math series starts the scope and sequence of math skills that continues through sixth grade. It includes very much hands-on learning and built-in review. Our religion class uses the Blessed Are We series through sixth grade. We also celebrate seasons of the church year. We attend school masses and have prayer services. We participate in projects such as the Advent gift bags and then feed just one. Some of our students' favorite activities to do at Galen are the firehouse visit. We have a Thanksgiving feast. We do a nativity play for our parents. We celebrate Mardi Gras. We go to the Shrine Circus and then we put on our own circus choral reading. I just love working at Galen. All four of my children attended here from kindergarten through senior year, and it is really like one big happy family. My favorite thing in kindergarten is watching children as they learn to read. They just open up and pretty soon they're reading everything they touch, and that's one of my very favorite things to see. I just can't wait to meet you this fall. Well, let's get ready with the nitty gritty of registration. 
Each of you should have received a packet like this, and if you haven't, please call school and we will get you one. Inside, you will find on your left, the list of dates, due dates, and documents that are required. And on the right, you'll find all of the documents themselves. If you could turn these in by March 5th, that will be helpful to us as we prepare for the next step. The pre-K and TK teachers will be using this information along with what um, is provided by your preschool or by you uh, through this information or anything you may have shared with office staff. And we will be determining the best placement for your child. You're probably wondering when you're going to find out about your child's placement. You'll be receiving a letter toward the end of March and that will have that information in it. If you have any questions once you receive that, please give us a call. With no roundup this year, we are hoping and praying for open house the day before school begins this fall. At that time, you and your child would be able to come to visit the classroom, meet the teacher, and bring school supplies so that everyone can go home and get a good night's sleep before the first day of school. Let's go ahead and talk about the investment you're making for your child. A lot of you may be wondering, what do these numbers even look like? And we'll put them on the bottom of the screen as you're watching. Let's go ahead and talk about TK investment costs. Let's maybe put this in a different perspective and think of the daily costs you'll be paying for your child to attend Galen Catholic School. As a TK student, you'd be paying $21.52 for them to come to school daily. As a kindergarten student, the daily cost for them to be here would be $18.05. For our total investment schedule, please check our website for updated costs and pricing. Let's talk about how this education can be affordable for all of our families. What we have here is called a TADS application. When you fill out this TADS application, you're supplying us information about your family's financial situation plus some supporting tax documents. This application and tax documentation is due by April 1st. What happens then is that this information is sorted through and we have it sent to the diocese and also to our local assistance scholarship committee. So you, by filling out this one application, have an opportunity to get multiple scholarships, both through the Diocese of Sioux City plus through our Galen Catholic Local Scholarship Committee. This will ensure that we can help our families as much as possible attend the school. Another great way that we can make sure that this is affordable is working with your payment plan. We are able to do monthly payments, quarterly payments, or if you wanna do the whole lump sum right away, we're happy to do that as well. Our business office is great to work with and we are very flexible. So make sure you talk to us about the option that works best for your family. A couple of other questions you may be having would be maybe about lunch or how does this busing and transportation work? We'll let Mrs. Nussbaum talk about the busing and transportation. Busing for Galen Catholic students is provided through Lamar's Community School. They have both in-town and country routes and information about that can be found in your packet. If you live outside of the district, there's still a possibility that busing may be available. Please contact us and we'll provide you with the contact person at Lamar's community. Now let's talk about the yummy breakfast and lunch options. Make sure you tell your students that we have great meals here that they should be looking forward to. I wanna make sure that you guys understand that the lunch and breakfast payments are different and outside of the tuition cost. So if you do look in your folder, you are going to find this Galen Catholic. This is your investment schedule on there. It will talk about that lunch and snack option. And I want you to know that we do have the free and reduced lunch as an option to our families. This is not in your packet yet because that application will come in September in the fall time, more like. And so make sure you're watching for that communication from the office to apply for that. So we want to make sure that you can take advantage of that if needed. By sending your child to Galen Catholic, I hope you know it's always a great day to be a J. Why is it a great choice to come here? We are starting your child on a great foundation of values and morals and trying to give them the best faith upbringing that we can. Also, did you know that we have an 18 to one student to teacher ratio? Giving our students that extra love, that extra time, it really helps them grow into the strong people they can be when they leave the doors of Galen Catholic. We wanna make them better citizens of society. And by doing that, we offer them service opportunities. We want them to be able to go out into their communities and change the world.